So I'm going to walk through again the way that we're doing the eyes for the Victorian age Iron Man. I've got a pair of welding goggles that I've taken the lenses a part of. This is the ring that the lens was held in. And of course the lens is usually just a black disc that protects the welder's eyes. In this case I wanted a deep lens looking so I bought a magnifying dome. Uh, usually used like this to magnify writing, but turned this way it has this really neat deep focal lens look to it. So dropping it in to our lens, welding lens, you get this kind of very cool deep lens look. I've already notched her on the back side where I've cut down the back so that there are these little notches. Those notches are where we will put the LED lights. The LED lights are cut from a battery-powered uh, LED Christmas light string. And I've cut each one of these off, and then I've taken the normally domed uh, LEDs, and I've dremeled them down to where they are uh, rectangular in shape and narrow and wedge-shaped on the end. And I've painted the, the back side black, the two sides, and the lead end of the LED black with the only remaining section of the LED, the beveled edge, and the, what will be the back side of the LED. These LEDs will fit into this notch, eight of them all the way around. They'll be glued into place all the way around. Now, what that looks like when it's finished is this. Um, each of these is then connected via solder and wire to the next one in the series all the way around and that goes to a battery pack. And then of course you don't really see them unless you bring it up to a high angle where you can kind of start to see the little black wedge shape that's back there. So, kicking this on, has an arc reactor look to it. <clears throat> this is the back side, and this is the front side. So you can clearly see my finger back here, uh, and other things, but you don't necessarily see, you see some source, but you don't really see the LEDs. And if you high angle it, you can start to see, see the LED down in there, way down on this end, but it's not too distracting to see that and you're usually seeing it from this kind of angle. Now, the issue is that we have all this light that's shining back away from the front, and we need to reflect that back forward. So what I've done is I've taken the glass lens out, taken a piece of uh, plastic, heated it with a heat gun until it melted around it. And I've cut that out and made a roughly convex piece. which obviously fits on the back and you can see how much brighter that is all that light and this of course the styrene is not even white it's kind of an eggshell white so once this is painted with some more reflective white you can imagine that it's going to become even that much more bright again you can start to see when you start to see the edge of the lens you can see the LED but in most angles you're not really seeing those it has to be a pretty high angle for you to see it and if you wanted to see kind of what it looks like in the Iron Man mask there's a pretty good idea and that's where we're at with the light